Hello and welcome to Compact Solars Part 1. Now, one thing that um, you may have noticed in the past is, especially in industrial cars, I've done this solar flower and I put a bat box um, here and at the moment I've, I've done another solar flower now obviously the solar panel is um, you know one of the items in industrial craft however there is a need to um, increase the amount of uh, you know power that's generated because obviously you've got one EU per tick 20 EU per second from each so yeah and what's that 20 times 13 260 EU um, per second is going in so that's all right but you probably you're going to want more than that what i've done at the moment is i've i've used some this is this current is going as low voltage current and it's going into my mfe um and i've stored up a fair amount now about 200,000 eu and it's and it's going to power whatever i want on the gold line um so you may be thinking like where does uh you know compact solar's come in well Basically, compact solars, I'll just go into a different mode uh, if I can. Right, compact solars, um, they're basically produced um, in such a way that it, it's kind of, like, like many of the items in the game, it, so it becomes quite obvious about what they actually do. So the way that we're going to go from the regular solar panel, which is just, you know, um, the glass and electronic circuit and generator and all that, uh, and coal, is coal in it probably, um, the way we're going to go to the low voltage solar array is we just get eight of these after we so we make eight of them and we put a low voltage transformer in the middle and that's going to get us a low voltage solar array and this because it's got eight solar panels in it it's going to produce eight eu per tick so that's going to be um 160 eu per second is produced which basically means that if we've got um yeah it's going to be a what, 1760? No, 16 times 13, what is that? Um, well, 208, okay. So 2080 then. Wait a minute. Oh, well, you know what? I don't really want to do that now. If I really thought about it, I could, but then I'd just be thinking about it for about 10 seconds. And that's not really something that I want to be doing. So, um, what I'm going to do is, I mean, what I could just try and do first of all is just replace, say, a few of these and see if we're going to notice any major difference. Um, because it's low voltage, it's, it's not going mean, to, it wouldn't make any difference anyway. But So we'll just get rid of one two three you know what I, I do want to do that maths actually so if we've got eight we've got 13 times eight right that's 104 and that's per tick so it's going to be 104 times 20 so it's 2080 oh, i was right anyway 2080 per second is going to come in which basically means that mfe if it's 600,000, it's going to be 600,000 divided by 2,000, which is 300. So it should be four in five minutes. Okay. Um, yeah. It won't be there this way. Because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not doing 13. I could do 13, I suppose. But what we should see is, so I may as well do these ones as well, I suppose. Um, yeah, let's see what sort of benefit we get, um, okay, and you know what, I actually get, I'm kind of tempted to do the final one, even though it is a, it is a bit of a um, bummer to do, because it's, it's very tedious to place, I mean, I mean, it must be a better way of placing the top one. I can never think of it really, and I could put a cable. I mean, I mean, you know, but I may as well do it though, seeing as I've already worked out the calculation. Um, okay. So. 
So how am I going to get this one? I mean, I could put another cable in there, but that's going to be a mission as well. Um, I generally just like to put it right in the middle. I know you can put it above, but I don't think it makes any difference. Um, okay, these two haven't been done. I may as well just have a brief look at it actually first. I'm curious to see what kind of difference this is going to make. Um, see how we're doing on the MFE. Oh yeah, this is a lot faster, isn't it? Look at that, it's really absolutely shooting up now. I mean, that's going to be done in no time at all. So you know what, I, I, I can't, there's no point in me doing the uh, final one. So, so yeah, um, what I, and, and the next thing I suppose to show, seeing as I've got this MFE there, I may as well just, um, I may as well just do one more jump. We'll go to medium voltage, and then I'll do um, the high voltage uh, next time. Um, as you can imagine, um, this time we need to use the um, the medium voltage transformer in the middle, and we need to get low um, voltage solar. So remember, this is eight. So we simply um, exponentiate, and then so this is going to be basically one of these is 64 solar panels, and then and then we just um, you know and then that that um, you know that that root exponentiation occurs once more, and then um, it, so the high voltage would be 512. So yeah, um, I mean, so that's really, I mean, that's really all there is to it. Um, and if we put the medium voltage, it's going to actually have too much for this copper cable to handle, and it's actually a waste of time using copper cable here. So we may as well move up to the medium voltage cable. Uh, which is, and there's two types of um, medium voltage. If you look at the um, high voltage cable, there's actually even more types. There's um, high voltage insulated two times and then four times insulated. And I believe it's to do with power loss. I believe the best, the mo the best item for power loss um, is, now one thing I wouldn't mind trying briefly actually, is I was recently reading, and this is a little bit unrelated, but you know, I like to try and, you know, try and mix things up a little bit. Um, if we just get some TNT, um, not industrial TNT, um, I'm curious because apparently industrial car actually changes the blast resistance value of TNT. So if we look at, um, if we just place a piece of obsidian down and, um, yeah, I'm going to go a little further away than this. Let's go to this little clearing here. It's a good area here, actually. I quite like this area. Um, so we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just place down a little obsidian. Nothing too major. And maybe a couple of TNT. And I just want to see what kind of... Um, what kind of effect we can get here? Wow, that was absolutely terrible. So maybe it isn't that low. Now, admittedly, when I did read the wiki, it did mention something about industrial TNT and nuclear reactors. So what I might try now... Um, I probably should clear this area now. Probably wasn't such a good idea to do it right next to the water, but I think I've cleared that. So what I might do actually, and this might make things a little... But yeah, I will be getting back to the solar panels, so um, yeah, don't worry about that. I've been I've been kind of wondering how to do some of these some of the this is the sort of thing that I actually would like to do testing blast resistance and stuff like this and I've been thinking about cannons and all sorts of things but um, so let me just see what happens if we just put slightly stronger TNT in here um, Didn't even set off the one next to it. Wow, 
Well, it doesn't even make a noise either. Alright. Funnily enough, these are actually called toadstools. I'm not sure what they're for yet. Oh. Okay, maybe they're not. Am I just dreaming that I am? No, is there? Alright. Um. Okay, so yeah, like I say, all we need to do to um, to get the uh, medium voltage solar panels is to put them around the reactor. But what I would like to do is to really see how far we can crank it up. And and of course, um, we're going to use this um, cabling. We could use better cabling, but. I don't really think it's going to make much difference. So we'll just put this cable all the way down. Yeah, you don't want to be doing that. And how's this MFE looking? Well, this MFE is actually nearly full. And that will not really do. Because I want to see it fill up fast. And it should be, I mean, literally, this one should be, so each panel should be 64 EU per tick. So it's going to be 64 times 13, which is going to be um, 640 plus 192. So that's going to be 832. And that's per tick. So then we have to multiply that by 20 again. So, yeah. But it's going to be about 16,000 EU coming in a second. So... So basically, this is going to fill up very, very fast. It, it may actually be worth putting two MFEs in here. Uh, just to check the rate at which it fills up. Yeah, I'm not, I wonder, I'm, I'm curious about some of this um, blast resistance stuff, but yeah. I wonder if I can just do it like this. It does seem to play nice when I do it like that. Um, yeah, so... Oh, I did not mean to do that. So this just... That's going in pretty fast. I think it's going to go in way too fast for me to actually see it. So I'm going to put another MFE here. I could actually just put MFSU there, can I? Yeah, because that will still work. Um, that's the input side. Hmm. No, maybe we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try the high voltage stuff later on. I'm not quite sure about it yet. I mean, as long as this is filling up, which it is. So, and I may, and I can always just replace the MFE anyway. All I really want to do is just see how fast we're looking at. Um, no, I got rid of it. Okay, so we want a medium voltage solar array. Which is here. It looks quite like a solar panel actually. Um, it's not that much difference. Okay, we'll just start placing them down. But we should really start seeing a huge spike. It may even be bottlenecked a bit by this. Because um... that's the thing, it's only taking 32 at a time. So I wonder if it's actually going to blow up. Because it's actually producing, each one is producing 64. No, it's just, it's, I don't think it will blow up. It's just going to literally, it depends what the internal buffer is, doesn't it? Well. So we're going to put these down. And yeah, like I say, we'll, um, we'll talk about the high voltage, uh, um, maybe next time in this series um, but of course you can't I mean 
you know, it will be featured in industrial craft. Um, and there we go, it's gone. That was too much for it to handle. <clears throat> now, what if we try putting an MFE there? Sort of power. Doesn't look like it's doing much. This must be full, that must be why it went. No, it's not full. Wow, it's very empty actually. Okay, the MFE is filling up there now. And it's not transferring its power here. That must be because this is on the wrong face. No, that's still the wrong face, I think. Let me just get on top of it. Oops. What are we getting in here now? Okay, so that is basically maxed out. So you can see the reason why it's 127, not 128, is because it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it's basically 5 long. If that was one short, it would be all right. Basically, um, if, it's, if, it's, if it's, if the, how can we say this? If the cable length is less than 5, there will be no energy loss. That's the way to say it. So if it's 5, there will be energy loss. And that's what's happened. Um, and you obviously can't do that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is going up so fast, it's actually um, not even, you can't see it going up in, this, in the same sense. But yeah, I mean, so that's really all I really wanted to do for compact solars. Um, obviously, I'm going to be moving on to the tier two machines in industrial craft, um, uh, induction furnace coming soon. Um, but, and I'll be thinking about ways to turn that on and off. So yeah, that's about all for now.